Hey, hey, it's Pelay. You're watching Pelay TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. Anyway, today we're in my garage and we're going to be putting in new pop-outs and a side safari window in my 1962 combi project that I'm building a camper out of. I just thought it'd be really cool to have a safari window right at my dinette table so I could just chill and just open it up and get some great ventilation. I just thought it would just be, you know, different compared to, you know, what you usually do. You usually put those jealousy windows in. I thought a safari would be great. So I contacted the guys at Creative Engineering out of the UK and ordered their safari window kit for the side. So there it is right there. As you see, it has everything you need to make this nice, simple installation. What I did is I took a couple of magnets and kind of just mocked it up exactly where I was going to put it just so I could get it centered. And I marked it off and I used the supplied uh, self-tapping screws and put them in there nice and square. Seemed to be pretty straightforward. And then with some magnets, I kind of just put some the brackets where I thought they needed to be, drilled them out, and with some number 10 screws, I attached it to the inside body of the combi. Really wasn't too worried about it because you can see there's tons of holes everywhere in this thing. But it came out great. I love it. It's very versatile. I can't wait to use it on my next camping trip. It'll just be great to be able to, you know, pop that window open. And while I was at it, I also ordered um, five pop-out, you know, polished pop-out frames also from Creative Engineering. And you can see they come complete, everything you need. Very, very high quality. I was really satisfied with it. I bought the hinges and I used these Westphalia cabinet screws, which I had found once on an old ca camper that I had where somebody put some pop-out windows. And these things were great. They were tiny and they were very strong. And I drilled the extra holes. And when I get around to it, you know, I'll use some, do some plug welds and get it in there permanently. But everything, you know, seems nice and tight and... Like I said, I've done this before and never had a problem. So you put the rubber around the window, of course, the seam at the top. Then you line up your frames and you slip it all together. I use a rubber mallet that I got, just a bright, nice brand new one to kind of pound it together, get it to line up. And then I also get, you know, these three foot clamps from Harbor Freight and I clamp it all together, screw it together. Perfect. Then you got to put in that seal that goes all the way around the outside. That's a little tougher. What I do is I take a piece of a, I mean, I take a plastic uh, picnic knife and I use that to push the seam in there. It's very time consuming, but it does the trick and it doesn't rip. So let me show you how I do it. Here we go. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys here, the tool I made out of a simple plastic um, knife. I cut the end off, kind of grounded it down on the driveway floor. And you want to start with the seam in the center and there's two lips. So the fat lip falls in there and then all you do is just put it in here and rock it back and forth and push that piece in. And once you get into a rhythm, it starts going pretty quick, but take your time. And if you do it this way, you're not going to tear it like if you'd use a screwdriver or something. And then once in a while, it'll hang, hang up and break. You just grind it off a little bit and you're good to go. And as you see, you get to the end and it takes a while. It's probably 10 minutes or something. But you got to start out with good stuff. Like I said, I'm using Creative Industries um, window kits and they are, I mean, they work really nice. As you can see, I broke the knife, broke it kind of far off. So I'm just going to go make another one. And then I'm going to finish this up and get these last windows installed. And when you're putting the hinge, you got to make sure you leave about four millimeters of space between the lip and the hinge so you can fit the rubber um, channel that goes around there like so. And once you get that all together, you bolt it up. Mm, looks pretty good to me. Let's give it a little test and see how this little side window works. Pretty tight. You got to give two hands to give it a good push, but yeah, it opens up nicely. Check it out. 
front one works just as well. Very happy. The kits are very nice. Let's close the safari. Cool. To hold the latch on, I just drilled a you know small pilot hole and with my impact put the screws in there, but it's nice and tight. You can see this, this shuts and closes nicely. Nice and tight seal. Actually takes two hands to open it, but works pretty awesome. And I'm sure that little hinge is going to be just fine. Yeah, this is awesome. I got three pop-outs on the right, two pop-outs in a safari on the left. I really can't beat that. That's way trick in my book. Yeah, I'm real happy to have three pop-outs now on my combi. It's going to give me plenty of ventilation during the summer camping trips. And there you have it, Safari on the left and three pop-outs on the right, all on Filet TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you next time.